What's up guys, it's Frank and this is Greybird Garage. So, um, we haven't been doing very much lately because, well, work and life gets in the way and sometimes you just can't come out here and enjoy the uh, hobbies that you have. But, today's a different story. So today, a buddy of mine came by and he said, Frank, uh, I got a snorkel kit to install on my Jeep. I was wondering if you'd be interested in taking, taking on this job. So, he came by last night and dropped it off. This is Kyle's 2016 JKU. And he has a K&N snorkel kit to go on today. So, there's a lot that's involved with this. So, I'm probably not going to video every single step of this uh, project. But, let's just say a lot of stuff has to come apart. You reuse some stuff from the factory on the new kit. And then you put it all back together. And you take it apart and put it back together again. But, we're going to get it done. And, uh... Here we go. So I just want to show you guys what's involved with this kit. Um, just open up the box and you see all the different hardware, hose clamps, a couple of gaskets in here. None of this stuff is actually assembled, so everything has to be assembled. The air box is there. Got airbox cover, all of the uh, silicone hose, couplers, intake tube, uh, snorkel itself is down there, and I'm assuming in this box is the air uh, filter. air filter. It's a pre-oiled chain and air filter. Ooh, and it comes with a sticker. Alright, so you can see there's a lot of pre-assembly that's involved with this before we could actually get to taking anything apart on the Jeep. But there are some things that you need to use on the Jeep also, like the um, air intake temperature sensor goes in the bottom of the intake tube here. And <coughs> pieces of the old air box has to go in this spot over here. So we're going to go ahead and do all our pre-assembly first before we even touch the Jeep. And we'll go from there. Hey guys, so I got the uh, stock intake off the Jeep already. Um, that doesn't take very long to do. There's literally two 10 millimeter bolts and one hose clamp that holds it to the vehicle. Um, let me just show you guys real quick the things that we have to take off this to make this installation work. So, they want you to take this piece off the uh, stock air box, which is held in with uh, a couple of rivets right over there. So, drill those rivets out, and then this tube will actually come out of the air box itself. And you can see when you open up the air box. whole tube will come out as one piece. This is reused on the uh, k and air airbox. Also, we have this guy right here. I don't know if you can see him down there. Hold on. This guy right here. That is your air intake temperature sensor comes out of the bottom of the tube right over here. Should twist and pop right out. And then that'll go in the new intake tube. Here's the new intake tube. That goes in the grommet that you install right there. Also for your uh, crankcase ventilation, that has to get installed on the tube. And that's where that came from. But they give you a, a whole new uh, hose for that. So we're gonna keep going on this. Oh, and just to let you know, that piece off the airbox installs over here on this airbox. So, we're going to continue with our pre-fabrication, pre-installation stuff before we actually get to work on the Jeep. But I had to show you that because it's very easy to take the airbox out and these pieces have to be transferred to, to make this work. So, let's keep going.
right, so here we are. Everything's all installed so far. I can see the new air box, new intake tube. This is the new tube that goes to the crankcase ventilation area. Um, down over here, the uh, old sensor is reinstalled. I don't know if you can see it, it's all the way down there. That is the air intake temperature sensor. Air box is sealed. It's got a gasket on here. K&N filters in there. Uh, this section over here is from the original air box and it had to be sealed with RTV. That's all done. They provide you this foam rubber to put in there. And then you can see the way this is routed. If you come down over here, it comes out of the bottom of the box around the shock tower. There's a heat shield on this side that had to be installed that was to protect the air intake tube from the catalytic converter. That's on. And then the intake tube comes up over here. All the way up there. So the next thing is just put everything back together. But before we do that, there's a section of the fender that has to be cut out. Now one of the things that has to be done is this piece over here. There's spot welds that held that on. Um, spot welds have to be drilled out and that's removed. And the section that has to be cut is actually underneath there. They provide a template for your cuts. So everything should go well with that and Kyle if you're watching and I know that you are I suggest you go keep put your phone down let it run get, go get yourself a sandwich or something and skip this part of the video because now we're gonna start cutting shit so wish me luck and here we go snorkel kit went on pretty well you know um, it comes with a really nice set of instructions so if you follow the instructions everything will go together pretty nicely I didn't really run into any snags as I was doing it um, one thing I do caution you though is that there's a lot of pre-assembly involved so take the time before you actually start taking apart the Jeep to do all your pre-assembly stuff and that's including the heat shields and basically everything else so that's basically it 
Jeep looks good. Kyle's going to be happy. And his Jeep is known as the Black Pearl. And it looks like the Black Pearl's ready to hit the high seas. So, glad you guys were, came along for this little uh, installation. Um, and if it's something that you're going to attempt yourself, I was able to do this in about six hours myself. Just working at my own, my own pace. And that's it. So, yeah, there you go. Actually looks pretty good. So, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you guys out there.